Assalamu alaikum dear students. I am Dr. Shah Jabeen. In the previous lecture, we left at activation of T cell. Now in today's lecture, we will continue the cell mediated immunity's last phase that is attack phase by knowing different types of T cells and their functions. These are learning objectives. At the end of this lecture, you would be able to know all different types of T cells and their physiological functions. As we have discussed that after activation and differentiation, the CD8 positive cell differentiated into cytotoxic T cells and suppressor T cells while CD4 positive cells are differentiated into helper T cells and delayed hypersensitivity T cells along with the formation of some of the memory cells that will be activated that remain dormant but will be activated on the subsequent exposure of same antigen. Come to first type of T cell functions that is the helper T cell functions. They are CD4 positive cells and they are the most numerous ones. He, uh, healthy individuals or healthy adults, the normal count varies between 500 to 1500 per millimeter cube of blood. And uh, you know it very well that they recognize the antigen on the surface of APCs along with the combination of class 2 MHC protein. Now uh, there are three functions. Uh, number one is activation. They activate the macrophages. And you know very well that macrophages plays an important role in both the innate immunity and acquired immunity by presenting antigens. Uh, the second function is they induce the formation of cytotoxic T cells, uh, which are the attackers of cell mediated immunity, while they also stimulate B cells or beta cells and also stimulate the production of antibodies. So it is obvious from these uh, functions that that these helper helper T cells plays an important role in both in all the humoral and cell mediated mediated and the innate immunity and you can say that they play a central role in the immune response and helper T cells plays this role of overall regulation of immune system by secreting special molecules known as a lymphokines. What are those lymphokines? These are the small protein molecules which act like hormone and they regulate the immune system. Uh, th these include interleukin 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor, interferon gamma. Interleukins, as the name says, uh, these are the communication between the two leukocytes. Helper T cells activate the macrophages by increasing their accumulation in the inflamed area and then activating them to make their property of phagocytosis more efficient. So thus allowing these macrophages to attack the invading bacteria and destroy them. This slide shows the pictorial representation of the previous one. Uh, you can see the, there is, this is the macrophage and this is bacterium. It will take up the bacterium, uh, process it, and present the antigen to the, uh, bac these are the bacterial antigens, and then it will present it to the helper T cells. This is the T cell receptor, and it will combine with it, and, uh, and you know, in combination of which protein, which MHC class? Yes, class 2. And this macrophage is secreted interleukin 1 to activate the helper T cell. But in this scenario, the function of the helper T cell when it is activated, it is also activate the macrophage 
and increases the phagocytotic ability of this macrophage and this in this way this helper T cell also plays its part in the innate immunity. So the second function of helper T cell is stimulation of the other types of T cells and these helper T cells stimulate the growth and proliferation of both cytotoxic T cells also known as killer cells and suppressor T cells by secreting interleukin 2. In the absence of helper T cells both of these have less potent effects in their functions. The third most important function of helper T cell is their role in humoral immunity. They causes the growth and differentiation of beta cell and they convert beta cells into plasma cells and in turn plasma cells secrete antibodies. Almost all the interleukins that are secreted by the helper T cell participate in this uh, function of activating the beta cell but especially the interleukin 4, 5 and 6 are very much important and, and they are also known as beta cell growth factors. This function is so much important that without helper T cell stimulation, the formation of plasma cell and secretion of antibodies is very, very slight. Now this slide shows a very good picture depicting the major or pivotal or central role of helper T cell that they augment different patterns of immunity or immune system whether it is innate or cell mediated or humoral immunity. Look at the first picture. It is of macrophage and whenever this macrophage activate the T cell uh, by presenting the antigen fragments along with the MHC protein and by secreting the interleukin 1. This activated helper T cell plays a role in augmentation of innate immunity by increasing the ability of these macrof uh, macrophages to phagocytose the invading organism by uh, increasing their phagocytotic ability. Now come to this one that whenever they are activated they can secrete interleukin 2 and then can they can increase the uh, T cell uh, production T cell uh, which type of T cell cytotoxic T cell they are also known as uh, killer T cells they are the main killer attackers of the cell mediated immunity and they can uh, combat against the uh, virus infected cells. So uh, helper T cells increases their production and by secreting interleukin 4, 5, 6, these helper T cell also increases the beta, B, B cell production, B lymphocyte production and, and in turn increases the production of the plasma cells and the secretion of antibodies and hence they increase the humoral response to a look at another effect of helper T cells that is the positive effect that is showing that the, uh, the helper T cells uh, themselves they affect uh, uh, on their own uh, cells and increases their uh, uh, their own effect that is known as the positive feedback they can increase in this way the whole of the immune system response by affecting all of these cells of uh, immune system. Now you can understand by yourself that how important or central role of helper T cell is there in our immune system and without the help from these helper T cells, the remainder of our immune system is almost always left paralyzed. Now here are some other functions of T helper T cells as well. Like helper T cells secrete interleukin 4 and 5 and beside these 4 and 5 interleukins, uh, 
beside activating beta cell or humoral immunity, they also activate eosinophils and promotes the development of IgE antibodies for the defense against the parasitic worms. This we have done it that the uh, helper T cells have a direct positive effect on themselves as well and this amplification of their own function help the entire immune response to an invading antigen. This is the picture I have taken from our own Guyton that shows the pivotal role of helper T cell. You can see it. Let me take the pointer. The helper T cells are activated by the APCs here. And whenever they are activated, they secrete different lymphokines that uh, causes the growth of the beta cells and effect over the uh, humoral immunity by converting it into plasma cells and um, the, all the secretion of antibodies and combating, combating with the, uh, all the extracellular organisms or invaders while they also increases the production of cytotoxic T cells and hence they are affecting the cellular or cell mediated immunity and causing the infected cell uh, to be killed and also they causes the suppressor T cells and uh, by this uh, the increase of the suppressor T cell they causes the regulation of whole accord immunity or cell mediated immunity now keeping that pivotal role of helper t cell think what happens to one immune system when these helper cell t cells are destroyed yes it happens uh, in acquired immunodeficiency syndrome in which human immunodef uh, immunovirus attacks the T helper cells, mainly the CD4 helper T cells, and destroy them. And as much as the count goes below the 200 per millimeter cube of blood, and in this way it weakens or eliminates the whole of our immune system and, uh, and makes our body susceptible to many debilitating or fatal diseases. Now, uh, the second type of uh, T cell, cytotoxic T cell, they, they are uh, mostly CD8 positive and they recognize the antigens on the surface of all cells with the combination of MHC class 1 protein. What is the function? Their main function is to destroy the target cell. So, these are the cytotoxic T cells are the main killer cells of the cell mediated immunity and mostly T cells are lethal to the cells that have been invaded by viruses or bacteria and as viruses mostly viruses particles become entrapped in the membranes of tissue cells and attract these T cells in response to viral antigenicity these um, cytotoxic cells also play an important role in destroying cancer cells and heart transplanted tissue or any of the transplanted uh, tissues or other types of cells that are foreign to the person's own body. They kill them, they recognize them and destroy them. They destroy by means of two mechanism. Whether they uh, directly kill them by releasing the enzymes known as uh, the hydrolytic enzymes known as granzymes and cause the lysis or rupture of the infected cells or they can uh, cause the this lysis of these infected cells by releasing special type of protein known as perforins which form pores in the target cells and ultimately they causes the rupture of the infected cells Now this picture shows the pictorial mechanism of the perforin induced uh, killing of by the cytotoxic T cell. Uh, the killer cells or you can say the cytotoxic T cells binds to its target. This is, this is the cytotoxic T cell and this is the target. As a result of binding perforins 
uh, here it binds with it and in look at the three the perforance molecules these are the uh, proteins containing granules fuse with the plasma membrane and they enter into the target through the exocytosis and when they combine with the calcium here they change their uh, shape from the cylindrical from the spherical to the cylindrical like this okay now these cylindrical shape will form barrel like this this one the barrel pores like this and they they made pores in the target cells now these barrel shaped pores in the membrane cause salt and water entry from the ecf into this target cell and causes the uh, the lysis or rupture of this target cell and uh, it will eventually bur eventually burst and dis be destroyed now this slide is for your revision you can see when any of the infected cell or um, virus infected or any infected cell presents its antigen on the surface with the combination of class 1 molecules it will be recognized by the cytotoxic t cell and uh, the perforance from the cytotoxic t cell will causes the formation of pores in the infected cell there comes the entry of uh, ions and in water into the cell and the cell the infected cell would be burst and destroyed now the function of the third type of uh, uh, t cell that is the suppressor t cells as the name says they suppress the function of the uh, cytotoxic t cell and the helper t cell in in this way they regulate the uh, cell mediated to the whole system cell mediated immunity and uh, it prevent the t cells from destroying the body's own tissue along with the invading organisms now the last type of the t cell that is the memory cells and you know they remain in dormant in the lymphoid tissue until there is subsequent exposure of the same antigen then they release the t cells and that the second response that is known as a secondary response and uh, you have done it in the humoral immunity and that would be more and uh, powerful and rapid than the first response and more potent now this is a very beautiful classical picture of overview of a cord immune system let me take the pointer yes now, had it been the normal class i would have asked from you all but now i have to tell you all the summary and uh, overall you can see that uh, these these are the two main types of acquired immunity the moral immunity that is also known as antibody mediated and cell mediated immunity and these are close allies to each other and and they are antigen specific both of these uh, any are initiated by the antigen or any foreign antigen so they whenever there is a first exposure to the antigen it is enveloped by the non specific macrophage and these are also known as apcs they stimulate the uh, helper t cells and uh, present these to the helper t cells in combination with the mnc class 2 proteins now come to the humoral side uh, the b cells can be stimulated by the antigen free antigen uh, uh, that are present in the blood and they can have this antigen from the helper t cell and they can be activated by the uh, uh, antigen presentation from the macrophage however whenever they are stimulated they give rise to memory cells the dormant one they, that remain in the lymphoid tissue and uh, afterwards they are converted into the plasma cells and plasma cells in turn secrete antibodies that defend against the extracellular pathogen by binding to the antigens and making the uh, pathogens easier targets for the phagocytosis by the process of you, uh, you have done it precipitation neutralization and uh, agglutination and by directly attacking uh, or destroying the target uh, by fixing the complement system to come to this side the wider one the cell mediated immune response here the cytotoxic t cell are the main uh, killer cells or you can say the uh, attacker cells these uh, uh, whenever the 
there is any of the infected cell along with the class 1 MHC protein come in combination and the cytotoxic T cell are stimulated uh, and they give rise also to their memory cells and the actively uh, cytotoxic T cell. Here you can see uh, cytotoxic T cell have the stimulation from the helper T cells too. So whenever they are excited or activated, they defend against the intracellular pathogen or uh, you can say uh, they defend against the cancer or the tumorous cells or even against the um, transplanted cells and they uh, destroy the cell by directly through the granzymes or through making perforins in the target cells and making holes and uh, uh, and, uh, trying, uh, and trying it to uh, get it burst. Now, look at the pivotal role of helper T cell here that uh, whenever uh, it is activated by the antigen presenting cells, it will stimulate, it has stimulated the T cell, humoral one, it has stimulated the, the cell mediated one, and it can stimulate the macrophages one and it can stimulate itself too that is the positive feedback and uh, it can for also form the memory of helper T cells and all the these memory cells memory B cells memory T cells and helper T uh, memory cells they would be stimulated whenever there is there would be the second exposure of the same antigen and the second response all uh, all the previous one was the uh, prime response and the second response would be intense and uh, would be the rapid one hopefully you have understood all the immune system i i had tried to make it very simple go through the books explore the books and uh, you will find it very interesting and easy thank you students this is my email address for any query and the book's name for reference.